नमस्कार वेलकम टू इंडियन न्यूज दिस इज प्रियल मिश्रा योर न्यूज प्रेजेंटर फॉर द डे लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक ऑफ टूडेज हेडलाइंस मैसिव करप्शन स्कैंडल अनवील्ड इन छत्तीसगढ़ एफ आई आर रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट टॉप ऑफिशियल फॉरेन मिनिस्टर जयशंकर विजिट चिल्ड्रेन्स होम छत्तीसगढ़ हाई कोर्ट नोटिस टू भूपेश बघेल फिजिकल ऑल्टकेशन एट प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमिटी ऑफिस नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टुवर्ड्स द बुलेटिन स्टेट इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंसेस इन्वेस्टिगेशन ब्यूरो रजिस्टर्ड अ क्राइम ऑन मंडे इन कनेक्शन विद द कस्टम मिलिंग स्कैम बेस्ड ऑन द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ एनफोर्समेंट द ब्यूरो हैज एक्यूज्ड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सफरिंग रेवेन्यू लॉसेस ड्यू टू अ लार्ज स्केल कस्टम मिलिंग स्कैम एंड इन लाइट ऑफ दिस द इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंसेस विंग हैज फाइल्ड अ केस अंडर सेक्शन 120 बी एंड 409 A senior ACB official said the FIRs were registered earlier this month in the other case the ED's report documents alleged irregularities identified in the process of depositing rice with the state civil supplies corporation and the food corporation of India by rice millers after custom milling of rice various government officials misused their position and colluded with the rice millers and received undue benefits causing financial loss to the government the government statement read the statement added that the then district marketing officer of chatisgarh state cooperative marketing federation limited of korba pritika pooja kerketta was instructed by manoj soni the then managing director through roshan chandrakar that only the bills of those rice millers who paid commission will be settled Markfed is an apex level federation of cooperative marketing societies in the state of Chhattisgarh. Foreign Minister Dr S J Shankar visited the Bal Griha established for girls in the Wavri village of Nandod. During this visit the foreign minister tweeted stating MP LAD funds have brought the real changes for the girls living here with equipped computer labs smart classrooms science labs sports facilities and music rooms it was great to hear their thoughts and spend time with them foreign minister dr s j singh shankar mentioned the taj group will establish two hotels in kevedia our goal is to provide training to local people so training is being imparted in various fields so main aapko pehle main aaj ke karyakram ka batata hu ki ek to subah jo karyakram jo hua wo ye ihcl jo indian hotels jo taj group ke taj hotel ki jo branding jo hai unke unka skill center tha अब ये स्किल सेंटर का महत्व ये था कि ताज ग्रुप जो है अब केवड़िया में दो होटल स्थापित कर रहे हैं एक विवानता और एक जंजर और वो इसीलिए कर रहे हैं क्योंकि वहाँ टूरिज्म की संभावना जो आप देख रहे हैं कि बढ़ रही है कि हर हर दिन इतने माने हज़ारों में लोग टूरिस्ट लोग आते हैं तो होटल की डिमांड है और अगर होटल बन रहे हैं तो वो तो स्वाभाविक है कि उनके लिए स्टाफ चाहिए और वो जो लोकल लोग जो हैं हाँ उन्हीं को जितनी रोजगारी मिले उतना अच्छा है तो आ, हमारा लक्ष्य ये है कि वो लोकल लोग को ही ट्रेन करें ज, जितना हो सकता है कि एक दो कुछ बाहर से भी आए पर ओवरऑल जितना लोकल रोजगारी बढ़े क्योंकि उनको लगना चाहिए कि वो भी हिस्सेदार हैं इसके हकदार हैं In North India a game of hide and seek is underway between the intense cold and thick fog. One day the sun breaks through the mist only for the next day to be dominated by dense fog. This pattern has been observed for almost a week. On Sunday after a day of mist and fog, Monday brought a burst of sunshine while this provided some relief from the frosty cold higher altitude areas in Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh experienced heavy snowfall and chilling temperatures 
there has been a slight increase in the minimum temperature ranging between 7 to 10 degrees celsius according to the indian meteorological department from jammu and kashmir to bihar varying degrees of light to dense fog are expected for the next three days the department has issued orange and yellow alerts regarding this in the plains around the western himalayan region there is also a possibility of rain from january 30th to february 4th the state economic offenses investigation bureau registered a criminal case on monday in the dm fund scandal based on the report from the directorate of enforcement in a significant development a case has been filed under sections 120b and 420 revealing a large scale corruption scandal involving legislators and officials who benefited from the dm fund in chhattisgarh the previous congress government's officials are now under scrutiny for financial irregularities Following the report from the Directorate of Enforcement on Monday, revelation about the DM fund scandal caused a stir. The report exposed a widespread corruption scheme leading to the filing of FIRs under Section 120B and 420 against several individuals including IS officers. The report specifically implicates IS officer Ranu Sahu and public servants who while holding positions as public servants misused their authority for financial gains causing substantial losses to the state government. The State Economic Offenses Investigation Bureau on Monday registered cases against IS Ranu Sahu and others including Sanjay Shinde, Ashok Kumar, Mukesh Agrawal, Rishabh Soni, Bicholia Manoj Kumar Devri, Ravi Sharma, Piyush Soni, Abdul Shekhar under sections 120B, 420 and sections 7 and 12. The Chhattisgarh High Court, while hearing the petition of BJP MP Vijay Bhagel on Monday, issued a notice to former Chief Minister Bhupesh Bhagel. Vijay Bagel has filed a petition demanding the disqualification of Bupes Bagel's assembly membership. The single bench of the High Court has also issued a notice to the Election Commission besides former Chief Minister Bupesh Bagel. Vijay Bagel alleges that Bupesh Bagel has violated the model code of conduct. The petition presented through lawyer TK Jha states that even after the expiration of the campaign period, Bupesh Bagel continued campaigning in Patan, which is a direct violation of the model code of conduct. Vijay Bagel has requested the High Court to disqualify Bupesh Bagel from the Patan Assembly constituency. The next hearing on the matter is scheduled for February 26th. Let's take a quick break. Stay tuned with Indian News. Hi Sneha, what are you talking about? Today you don't look at it. क्या बताऊं मेरा तो पूरा समय बच्चे के पीछे ही निकल जाता है पर तू बड़ी रिलैक्स दिखती रहती है बात क्या है वो तो रहूंगी ही ना मैंने एक स्मार्ट डिसीजन जो ले लिया है अपनी बच्ची को इंडो आई स्कूल के टी बोर्डिंग में एडमिशन दिलाकर ऐसा क्या है वहाँ जो तू इतनी रिलैक्स रहती है अरे मेरा बेटा मॉर्निंग सेवन टू फाइव तो वही बिजी रहता है सबसे अच्छी बात वहाँ का एजुकेशन और रिजल्ट दोनों ही शानदार है हाइजीनिक ब्रेकफास्ट लंच ये सब डाइटिशियन की देखरेख में करता है तुझे पता है वो बच्चों का ध्यान बिल्कुल स्मार्ट पेरेंटिंग की तरह ही रखती है और तो और शाम को ऑफिस से आने के बाद भी कोई टेंशन नहीं शाम को नाश्ता वहीं से करके आता है दूसरी बात वहाँ खेल कूद पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट के क्लासेस एंड अदर एक्टिविटीज का भी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंस है जिससे बच्चे फिजिकली और मेंटली बिल्कुल फिट रहते हैं लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज बच्चों के अच्छे रिजल्ट के लिए कैंपस में ही ट्यूशन क्लासेस अरेंज की गई हैं इसलिए तो मैं बिल्कुल रिलैक्स रहती हूँ मीन्स होम अवे फ्रॉम होम हाँ इसलिए तो मैं भी तुझे कहती हूँ बी स्मार्ट एंड टेक द राइट डिसीजन फॉर योर किड आखिर ये इंडो आई स्कूल है कहाँ इंडो आई स्कूल क्रोध रोड कोका भिलाई फोन नाइन पूरे भारत में कहीं भी कभी भी सबसे कम किराए पर बुक करें वन वे टैक्सी राहुल ट्रेवल्स डॉट कॉम आरोप लुकिंग फॉर अ रिलायबल ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग साइट वेलकम टू वॉक 
We offer the best quality products at the lowest price with easy and fast delivery options. Search, discover, and choose from a wide selection of lifestyle essentials, such as home decoration, garden decoration, hotel decoration, fountains, donation boxes, school products, kids' corner, sports, tent decoration, wide range of cricket bowling machines, and many more. We combine innovation and tradition to give you the best in the market. Interior designers make contact to be our privileged customer on शिक्षण जो रोजगार दिलाए कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर मोबाइल सर्विसिंग कोर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल कोर्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कोर्स रेफ्रिजरेशन एयर कंडीशनिंग कोर्स छात्रावास की सुविधा इंदु टेक्निकल इंस्टीट्यूट टी मार्केट पावर हाउस जिला दुर्ग छत्तीसगढ़ मोबाइल नंबर नाइन एट टू सेवन वन नाइन फोर टू सेवन नाइन सेवन फोर वन फाइव सिक्स सेवन फोर वन फाइव सेवन ये है इंदु ब्रॉडकास्टिंग प्राइवेट लिमिटेड और आप देख रहे हैं इंडियन न्यूज हर पल हर क्षण हर सच वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक लेट्स गेट बैक टू द बुलेटिन अ सेंसेशनल केस हैज कम टू लाइट इन भिलाई छत्तीसगढ़ इन्वॉल्विंग एन अलेज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट किलिंग ऑफ अ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली मेंबर Following the complaint the police have initiated an investigation A shocking incident has been brought to public attention in Bhilai where Bhilai Nagar MLA Devendra Yadav was reportedly targeted for a contract killing The information was revealed by the legislator himself through Instagram where a conspiracy to murder him had been planned The complaint regarding this case has been lodged by Devendra Yadav the legislator's media coordinator with senior police officials including the bhilai nagar police station and the senior police superintendent during the legislative assembly elections a controversial video of mla devendra yadav went viral viral leading the senior police superintendent to issue directions to file charges in the case currently the police have begun their investigation into the alleged conspiracy to murder mla devendra yadav In Bhopal a heated altercation broke out between two party officials at the Pradesh Congress Committee office escalating to physical violence after the video surfaced both leaders have been relieved of their positions at the Madhya Pradesh Congress office a heated argument physical altercation and scuffle ensued between leaders the video of this incident is being widely shared on social media It is not worthy that a dispute arose between Pradesh Congress spokesperson Shariar Khan and former Pradesh president of the scheduled caste department Pradeep Ahirwar chairs were thrown and physical blows were exchanged between them other leaders present at the scene intervened to separate the two leaders the altercation occurred as Pradesh Congress spokesperson Shariar Khan and Pradesh president of the scheduled caste Congress Pradeep Ahirwar were discussing the defeat in the assembly election the responsibility for the loss was being attributed to senior leaders leading to a verbal clash that turned physical Pradeep grabbed a chair and during the scuffle Shariar fell A shocking video has emerged from Andhra Pradesh showing an attempt to assault an elderly woman by a man. However, the motive behind this act remains unknown. In the viral video from Anna Kapalli, an elderly woman is seen sitting on a sofa. In the midst of this, a young man approaches from behind and attempts to strangle the elderly woman. Despite her struggles, the heartless assailant 
shows no mercy. The incident was captured by CCTV cameras installed in the house. It is yet to be revealed what relation the targeted woman has with the alleged attacker. Chief Minister Vishnudev Sai paid tribute to Mahatma Gandhi on Tuesday at the CM house on the occasion of the death anniversary of the father of the nation. On this occasion, Takhapur MLA Dharamjit Singh was also present. Chief Minister Vishnudev Sai, while offering floral tributes to Mahatma Gandhi and the immortal martyrs of the country on Tuesday, said that the debt of the brave martyrs who sacrificed their lives for the welfare of the nation can never be repaid. Remembering the unparalleled contribution of Mahatma Gandhi for the independence of India, the Chief Minister said that Gandhi ji showed the world how a great goal can be achieved by the adhering to the path of truth and non-violence. It is with his inspiration that a new and self-reliant India is being built. The Congress-led Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra reached Parnia in Bihar, where Congress leader Rahul Gandhi made several allegations against the BJP while addressing farmers. During the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra, Rahul Gandhi stated that any politician who speaks in favour of protecting farmers, land will be targeted by the media within 24 hours. Addressing the farmers, Rahul Gandhi said that the government of India is breaking the law of land acquisition and farmers are being surrounded from all sides. He mentioned that land is being given to big industrials like Adani for free by taking it from the farmers. He stated that the debts of Vijay Malya and Adani could be forgiven but not the debts of the farmers. कानून के मुताबिक अगर यह जमीन इस्तेमाल नहीं की गई तो पांच साल के अंदर आपको वापस मिल जानी चाहिए यह कानून है मगर यहां पे हिंदुस्तान की सरकार जमीन अधिकरण बिल के कानून को तोड़ रही तो मैं यह आपके लिए जरूर पार्लियामेंट में उठा सकता हूं मैं यह गारंटी नहीं दे सकता हूं कि मोदी जी उसके बारे में कुछ करें ना करें मगर मैं आपके लिए उठा तो सकता हूं और मैं आपको आश्वासन दे सकता हूं कि अगर हमारी सरकार आएगी तो एकदम यह जो आपका काम है हम करके आपको दे देंगे किसानों को चारों ओर से घेरा जा रहा है आपकी जमीन छीनी जा रही है आपसे जमीन ली जाती है अदानी जी जैसे बड़े-बड़े उद्योगपतियों को फ्री में तोहफे जैसे गिफ्ट में दी जाती है दूसरी तरफ से खाद बीज इन चीजों में आपसे आप पर दबाव डाला जाता है आपसे पैसा छीना जाता है और फिर नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने सबसे बड़ा काम करने की कोशिश की वो तीन कानून ले आए काले कानून ले आए और जो आपका था वो आपके नाक के सामने उन्होंने छीनने की कोशिश की that's all for today. Keep watching in the news. Thank you and have a great day.